Texas country singer Kylie Ray Harris has died following a three-car crash near Taos, New Mexico, a town that held many of her fondest memories and most devastating losses. Kylie Ray Harris was a 30-year-old child of the Dallas area, best known recently for songs like Big Old Heartache and the poignant 20 Years From Now, a song delivered from the perspective of a mother to her daughter asking for kindness as she learns of mom's mistakes in life. Billboard reports that she wrote it as a prayer to her six-year-old daughter, God, I hope I'm still around 20 years from now, she sings at each chorus. Talking to Taste of Country about Big Old Heartache, she again referenced mistakes made in her 20s. Quote, my 20s weren't a walk in the park, a lot of that admittedly self-inflicted, but I grew a lot, she said. The accident happened at the end of a long road trip for Harris. On Instagram, she talked about driving 12 hours on Wednesday, September 4th to play the Big Barn Music Festival, a festival she said she loved. Her show was slated for the following day, but an accident on State Road 522 at about 9 p.m. local time killed her and the 16-year-old driver of another vehicle. The driver of a third vehicle was uninjured, according to the Associated Press. Police say they believe alcohol contributed to the crash, but did not say how or who might have been drinking. These final messages on Instagram appeared an hour or maybe two hours before her death. Fans see Harris parked in broad daylight, talking about how important the area was to her, now and forever. All right, I look a mess. It's because I've been crying. It's okay, though. Uh, it's a good cry. Um, I just got to Taos, New Mexico, and I'm playing this festival here called uh the big bar dance i love this festival and uh but for those of you who don't know i spent the last 20 years of my life like coming to taos with my dad and my sister my grandparents lived here my uncle still lives here but basically literally everybody that was here has passed away except for my uncle and including my dad Friends and fellow Texas musicians took to social media afterward to offer thoughts and prayers. Saving Country Music tributed her music in an article that's included in the description area below. Randy Rogers talked to Taste of Country upon learning of Harris's death, saying she was a great person and she made everyone feel welcomed and loved and cared for. She was a really bright, shining light. In a statement to Billboard, Harris's publicist talked about how much she loved her family and music and how the best tribute to her would be to spread love today. I'm Billy Dukes for Taste of Country. Thanks for watching, and if you're moved by Harris's songs or passing, please join the conversation in the comments section below.